I think it's uh, narcissism to the highest extent. It's all about him and really a piece of scumbag move. I'd never even look at the guy again. You could get rid of the guy, but to do it on camera, I mean, this is what we come to. You can't do that with a guy that was with you when you won the gold medal. You got, what do you got, one or two fights left? That was so, I don't know if it was done for cameras or if this was actually like a legitimate moment, but like everyone I've talked to, everyone I've seen on social media is like, what a weird thing to do. Yeah, and the way that Eric handled it, it seemed like it must have been pre-planned or, you know what I mean? Because I know like if someone did that to me, I'd be like, what, bitch? Like, <laughs> like you can't do this behind closed doors? What the f***? Uh, <laughs> But he handled it very well and was, you know, very positive about it. And so that made me think like, okay, they probably planned this out. They got us talking about it right now, right? So, you know, what what their my, their assumed plan was seemed to have worked. Come on, guys. Come on, you guys, you guys. <laughs> Bill Belichick, Tom Brady, Phil Jackson, Michael Jordan. Come on, you think that, that they, they would ever break? Break up? Come on, man. This is we got Just for just so you guys know, this is the greatest combat coach of all time. This is an unbreakable bomb. Let's go. UFC 298, we're taking over. I'll be sitting drinking Team Seeker Juice front row watching Till who will take out Marab Devashvili and stamp another title shot become C4. There you go. Let's Got him. Got him. You have suggested, though, that Volkanovski might be one of your easier fights, and you say that with respect. Why do you feel at, that? At, at the moment, he is right now because he lost his last fight. He he, he talked about his mental problems. I feel like he's not at his hundred percent right now, and me myself too. I feel I'm way better than that, than him anyway. So. He thinks it'll be one of his easier fights. What do you make of that comment? Oh, I mean, like, uh, the thing is, uh, you know, I've said, I've used the word uh, delusional uh, a few times, uh, where sometimes, you know, being delusional can, it can be good for you if you're preparing properly. But if he's preparing for the easiest fight, you know, it's, uh, you know, I don't think I need to say any more than that. We obviously know that's going to not be good for him at all. But if he's saying these things for, uh, promotion reasons or you know maybe it's for his whole for his uh, mindset because uh, he needs to go in there believing that or thinking it's a, in, to intimidate me or whatever it is maybe there's a, 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 a deeper meaning to it but um, yeah obviously we I don't think it's just myself I think a lot of people just look at that and be like well maybe he's delusional Alex Volkanovsky fights Ilya Tapuria this Saturday in the main event at UFC 298. The entire main card of UFC 298 is stacked from top to bottom. UFC 298 main card action kicks off on Saturday, February 17th at 10 p.m. Eastern Time and 7 p.m. Pacific Time. And you can order UFC 298 pay-per-view on ESPN Plus by clicking the link in the description. He's a pressure fighter. So is Ian Gary. He's a pretty, he, he's a he's a pressure fighter that loves to exchange. In other words, he has that gift of pressing. And then when you throw, he loves to be in that line of fire. This guy has fought Shabkov. He's fought Bilal Muhammad. Just those two names alone let you know that this dude's about it. And he's beating one out of those two guys. And there's one thing that he really brought out that last fight against Neil Magny. 
chopping the tree, chopping the tree. I, I wish he would have probably finished Magni, but he kind of, he stay on that damn leg. Hasn't fought the top contenders. I mean, how many, how many names can you bring up with Ian Gary, the people who he's actually fought? Neil Magni, the reason why I know Neil Magni is because that was his last fight. Other than that, dude, I have no idea. Joe Blow, Joe Schmo, could, could he strike? Could he, could he, could he put people out? 100%. Now you're going up against a vet. Now you're going up and trying to crack into that top, that top, that top 10 to eventually, you know, you starting getting closer to the dream that you have of becoming UFC champion. Dude, this fight is so underrated. The more I think about it now, this fight is super underrated. How good this fight's gonna be. So I'm looking at these numbers like, dude, someone's not gonna make it out. Someone's gonna get knocked the hell out. out and he says that UFC they, uh, they just offered me a main event for UFC 300. Who's the opponent? Who do they want him to fight? And if the fight's not happening, which means John said no, who did John say no to? The one that you would need is John. You can go to Steve, you can go to the opponent second, but was it Stipe? I don't know that that's a jaw dropper for 300. I've, I've got to tell you, it was already booked. It was already booked and on sale for, for six weeks and it did not sell out. So that makes me wonder, was it Aspinall? Did it happen at all? It's one of these very bizarre situations where you have a guy so hungry for attention that he just came out and damaged the company. And he didn't mean to. He's, he's stupid. You got me, it's my friend. But he didn't say anything. He was just on his phone the whole time. And I thought, as South Africans do, Let's break the ice. Let's, you know, friendly <laughs> banter. And he lost his fight, his last fight before, before that. And I know he has been vocal, like he wants to fight me. And I just went, and he had a, like a uh, vest on, and he had a tattoo with a date on it. And the date said two dash seven, I think, something like this. And one. So in five terms, that means you've <laughs> won two, <laughs> lost seven. seven. And, and I went, hey, Brendan, that's a two on your shoulder. Is that your fight record? <laughs> and the whole table went, <laughs> and, I mean, that's a funny joke. I that said, is good. Hey, it's cool that you have your fight record tattooed on your shoulder. <laughs> and he looked up and he says, that's my daughter's birthday. <laughs> oh, oh dear. And I mean, I don't care. <laughs> Mm. It's, the jokes it's, write it's, themselves. The jokes, I mean, I mean, <laughs> listen, I didn't say anything about your daughter, I just said... When do you think you'll have a narrow done and uh, any hints you can give us? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll probably... I'll probably announce it... Uh, maybe I'll announce it at the press conference uh, this weekend. All right, well, that'll be fun. UFC... Pre-fight or post-fight press conference? You're gonna make us wait both. till after? Post-fight. Post. Post. 